Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring. This time I'm going to show you how to take down the Regal Ancestral Spirit in Nakron Eternal City. Much like its predecessor in the Shifra River, the Ancestral Spirit, you need to light a set of braziers in the area in order to access its boss. However, up here in Nakron, you only need to activate six instead of eight, and they are much less guarded than the other ones were. So this is a bit of an easier time lighting these, but the boss is more difficult to trade off. So there you go. All right, so I'll show you how to light all six and where they are, and then we'll get to the boss. We're gonna start from the bridge just after the Mimic tier boss fight. The first brazier is right here, so go ahead and light that. And we're going to turn into the woods very briefly. Cut through here. Everything is dead, by the way. I've killed all the enemies in the area, so I'm not going to get in trouble here. This is number two. And then from here, we're going to turn around. And then we're going to go past the Hallowhorn grounds. Turn back onto the main road. And then number three is up on this little hill cliff right here. You will need to ride up or jump up and go around, and this will be pretty heavily guarded, so be careful. So that's three. And then number four is going to be behind this tree all the way in the back. This will be guarded by a red fox enemy. You should be somewhat familiar with them by now, but just be careful. It doesn't actually patrol back here, so you could light this and get away really easily. So that's number four. Number five is going to be in the back corner here. That'll be somewhat guarded as well. And then number six is right next to the hunting grounds, so you won't have to go very far to get the boss after you light it.
This one is probably... And then number four is going to be behind this tree all the way in the back. This will be guarded by a red fox enemy. You should be somewhat familiar with them by now. But just be careful. It doesn't actually patrol back here, so you could light this and get away really easily. So that's number four. Number five is going to be in this back corner here. That'll be somewhat guarded as well. And then number six is right next to the hunting grounds, so you won't have to go very far to get the boss after you light it. This one is probably the most guarded. There's like four enemies here. So this is number six, and then you can just run on over to the hunting grounds and do the same thing you did before. Just go ahead and touch the remains, and then you will be transported to the boss room. So this is, again, a bit easier of a... Uh, time lighting these things the area is a bit more spread out. There's no crazy archers to deal with You should be okay lighting them and just getting away with it Okay, so for the boss itself 